This is Jason Lee with Next Level Guitar, and today I want to bring you what I really love to play uh, outside of our YouTube world. Uh, it's a really pretty kind of surf slash rockabilly serenade uh, type of stuff. Um, for the ladies? For the ladies, okay? Ladies, this one's for you, all right? So, you know, it's kind of dark. We're starting in D minor. We end in, uh, in a major, which is neat for a turnaround. But really what the lesson is is not just the chords. The lesson's about the picking. The lesson's about the tone. And the lesson's about that little walk that we're doing. It bridges everything together. And uh, that's it. Let's get started on something really cool. And uh, let's slow it down a notch and get, uh, get smooth. Okay? So here are the chords for the lesson. Uh, take note of the different A's that we're using at the end. But we're basically going to be barring the whole time uh, right here. So we're going to do a D minor right here. Okay? After we do our little walk, then we go to a B flat major. Then I'm playing an A, but I'm playing it right here. So if you see that little little ladder effect I'm doing, that's our turnaround chord. So the reason I like this is it's leaving this A open and it's leaving this E open. And then once we do the repeat, you can end on a fully barred A. It gives you that nice little at the end. So again, we'll hear it in sequence. basic chords down we want to work on that little walking embellishment that we're doing and um, if you guys seen plenty of my videos you know I want you to use your pinky it's one of your best friends uh, it can get you out of trouble when you're trying to maintain chords um, but at the same time you have a nice you know little appendage that you can walk around and then bam you still got your your hand ready for chords so now we'll hear it with you with that and I'll give you you know give you the walk through so for, for the lesson let's just work on going from the D minor Okay. Let me use a little Bigsby there for some smooth, uh, you know, awesomeness. Then, if you see where my minor finger is, which is the sixth fret on the B string, it's basically like this, okay? Okay, so the whole walk is on the B string. And it's basically where your index starts in the chord. It's going to be 6, 8, 10, 8, 6, 5. And that's your bridge to move into the B flat major. See how smooth that sounds? So again, a little faster now. You can see I'm kind of sliding, sliding down or sliding up into that. Sounds cool. But at the same time, it makes it easier for me because my index is within the same fret range. So if my index is finishing the run on that E, I can start in the same area on the A, which is our first string, fifth fret, and then... Believe it or not, at this tempo that we're playing, or even faster, it gives me enough time to slide in so by the time I'm already up into the B flat major, I'm already finishing the rest of my chord. So again, we'll hear that with a little slide up and me using just my pinky and just my index finger for that walking embellishment that I'm doing. Take note. 
note of how smooth I'm being on the on the Bigsby, or if you've got you know any kind of standard tremolo for your you know Stratocaster or anything like that, um, you want to you want to pull it up and you want to pull it down. This is this is a really smooth technique that does take time. Um, my general rule of thumb is the more space you have, the slower things are. Um, you have more room to to really polish it and, and dial it in, but at the same time, more room uh, leaves room for error. So um, just to do a flat bend or anything isn't really going to work as smooth with these chords. So if you kind of you can kind of see my uh, my right hand here, and I'm literally going to just float it up and down every time I'm playing those chords. There's no single flat bends. Especially on those turnaround chords, like the B flat major. If you hear it with just a single bend, it's cool, but it doesn't give that long lasting effect. Right now, I'm not even using an echo, I'm just using an outboard reverb tank but it almost gives it the natural effect of like a tape echo or something that's really cascading. And, and to me, that's the trick to get this very pretty serenade type, uh, like surf and rockabilly crossover. Um, so and you can do so many different things. You can walk it differently. I can do it all within the chords. Right there. That's already within my turnaround chord. It's a cool lesson that's just it's slow it's smooth um i'd like you guys to really just work within that mess around with it i'm literally just messing around with any embellishments on the spot slide back up into that b flat major Like more help with your soloing, make sure to click on the link below for a free video lesson and ebook from Next Level Guitar. It's free, so click on the link. So one little tip that we're doing on this lesson today is the actual strumming pattern itself. And uh, starting on the fifth string, plucking downward, we're going to be counting like a one, two, three, four. It almost skips into the four, and that's where you're ending your chords on. Uh, so starting with that that D right there, it's like this. So it's one, two, three, four, and then you're going to rest that. And that's what gives it the rhythm. It also gives you a rhythm to go before your walking embellishment that we're doing as well. So just practice it like this. Remember too, we're using that other open A from the first part of the example, which gives it kind of a little bit of a tweak difference. Um, so we'll do that again. So it's going to give it a nice rhythm, gives you a little bit of uh, a separation between doing your walking embellishments, uh, and just gives it a little bit of flavor. That's definitely what you want. I mean, it's only three chords, but we want to make it sound so much bigger than three chords. Uh, and that's kind of the idea with being able to work within, uh, you know, say walking embellishments or anything within the chords. Uh, is that it's just going to sound super full, but at the same time really smooth. This is Jason Lee with Next Level Guitar. Make sure to check out our website with over 1,600 videos, all levels and all styles. Make sure to subscribe to this channel. The more subscribers we get, the more content we can bring you. So we'll see you soon.